Hi, I'm Karen from Melbourne Hand Rehab, and today we're going to run through some simple tricks that you can do to protect your joints while you're cooking in the kitchen. Now, joint protection follows three simple principles. One, avoid tight forceful grips. Two, make sure that you're using two hands where you can. And number three, use the bigger muscles and joints of your body as you can while you're cooking. So to avoid those tight grips, when you're opening something up, instead of really going through it and having to grip on really tightly, you can use things that'll help you grip so you don't need to put as much pressure through your hands. The same thing goes as you're using cutlery. So if you're finding it's hard to bring your fingers in towards your spoon or your fork, you can get ones that have a wider handle that reduce that amount of pressure you need to put through your fingers. This also holds true for chopping. So instead of cutting this lemon up with this type of knife, you can get knives that have a different sort of handle so you can use your whole hand to grip on and push down through your shoulder and your elbow as you cut. And lastly, as you lift things up, instead of grabbing onto something like that, as you might just do as a matter of course, you want to be making sure that you're using both hands to hold on firmly and lifting up from your elbows. I hope these tips help as you get back to cooking in the kitchen. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.